Before we progress much further, I just want to have a look at some common controls that we're going to find in both instruments and in processing. So this is basically the envelope. So we may, you may already be familiar with this. So the envelope describes how a sound behaves over time. So we have A, D, S and R. So attack, decay, sustain and release. The attack is how quickly the sound reaches its loudest volume once the sound has been triggered. The decay is how long it takes to fall from the loudest point to the sustain level. The sustain level is the volume of the main body of the sound. And then the release is how long it takes the sound to die away. So if I load just this pad, and we press a key, so it's me holding it down. If I just tap the key, get very much. So let me manipulate this a little bit. So if I turn them all down, we get nothing. If I bring the attack up, all that's doing is giving is the first part of the sound. If I bring the release all the way up, I now bring the decay up and bring make the attack shorter. change the sound. In fact, I'm going to change the instrument to something completely different so we can see the envelope in a slightly different format. So I'm just going to, again, just pick a pad and then go through That'll do. So we're going to change off this navigation window and I'm going to go to advanced and here is my envelope here. So attack, decay, sustain, release. We've also got a hold here. Basically what that does is it, it adds an extra point, almost like the sustain in between the decay and the release, but holding that top volume in between the attack and the decay. So this is a little bit more visual now. So as I raise the attack, you can see how this graph is changing. And across the top, we've got the time in seconds. So there you go, you can see the hold being introduced, the decay, the sustain bringing up that point, and the release, how long it lasts for. And what's really nice about this one is that you can literally see where the playhead is. So if I let go, it skips to the release. If I hold it on, the sound unfolds as the envelope is essentially telling it to. So the first time you open any instrument now, if you have a look for the attack, decay, sustain and release, you know you can make a sound come in quicker or die away quicker or take longer to unfold and you can start to shape these sounds so that they are a little bit more customized to what you want to do with them. 
you will also start to notice that the attack and the release at the very least will start to appear in some of your plugins and processing that you're going to be using. Um, examples would be gates and compression where you set the attack and the release time in a very similar way to see how quickly something can come on or how long it stays on for after the initial element has passed.